and welcome to Pink Whisper's office. How can I help you? Okay, it's so just an ear check. It's no problem. Yeah, we specialize in ears, ear, nose, and throat specifically. Where did I put my pen? These are our notes that we're going to be giving to the doctor. Um, and she's going to go over them and see if there's any pre-existing conditions um, before she diagnoses this one. Okay. Okay. So let me just get your first name. Okay. Get your H. And uh, your date of birth. The 13th, okay. And what year? Okay. Okay. Um, have you had any? This is going to be talking about your family history, so has anyone in your family um, been diagnosed with any heart problems? No. Okay, so nothing like, um, how about um, high cholesterol, high blood pressure? Okay, so mom. High blood pressure, and your dad has high cholesterol. Okay. Um, anybody in like your aunts um, by blood? Yes. Um, any aunts or uncles? Um, grandparents? Anything like that? No. Okay. So then this is gonna be talking about your history. Do you have any um, heart or any kind of conditions like your parents? No, okay. Okay. okay we'll just check your blood pressure when we get in the office. And so now we're going to get into your ears, nose, and throat. So. Have you had any ear infections as a child? No. Okay. Has anyone in your family had ear infections? Your sister. Okay. Do you know how bad they were? Okay, so she had it. Any any other of your siblings? No, just the one sister. Okay. Uh, do you have any problem with earwax? Saying, uh, yeah. I mean, in in the sense that you either make too much or not enough. None. Okay. My knee's a little wonky. I think the doctor would be able to read that. Okay, and I just talked about earwax. Okay, so nose. Have you had, have you had any sinus infections, anything of that sort? Have any allergies, like outdoor allergies that cause your nose to run, stuff up, anything like that? So no allergies, but you have had sinus infections. Has any of those sinus infections got on it out of control? Um, as I mean, in the fact that they turn into bronchitis or anything like that. You've had bronchitis. Uh, 
was it a f serious form or was it just a mild where they just gave you antibiotics and some decongestion? Decongestant. Yeah, okay. Perfect. So it's not that serious. Okay. And your throat. Um, have you had strep throat before? Okay. had strep before. Was that very serious? Was it recently? It was in your childhood. I apologize, there's some construction downstairs and I'm messing with the electrical system. So, uh, so your strep throat was in your childhood. Have you had any strep throats recently? None? Okay. And let's see, strep throat. No, um, we're going to be, the doctor's going to be checking your lymph nodes, seeing if you have any kind of infection, because usually, um, there's these little, I wouldn't say bags, I'd say pockets, but we'll just say pockets. So there's little pockets right here that carry fluid, and they carry your white blood cells, and they inflate when you have some sort of infection. So we'll be checking those to make sure you don't have any infections. Um, I believe that's it. Let me check. Okay. Okay. So what she's going to be looking at mostly going to be the fact that you had a sinus, infection, a sinus infection that turned into bronchitis, and um, I think that's what she's going to be looking at mostly. Yeah. And she's going to be checking your lymph nodes to see if there's any infections, anything like that. Also, she's going to be checking for any kind of um, blockages in your ears. So is there anything in particular that you came in for? Is it just for an ear check? Okay, so you have... You feel like you have a blockage. And can I ask which ear? Um, that could be due to several things. It could be due to the fact that you use cotton swabs. Um, it could be due to the fact that you overproduce earwax. Um, it could be, it could be a, a number of things. I don't want to scare you, but there's, there could be a number of things. So, no worries about that. So, she was just going to be checking for blockages, especially now because you complained about your left ear. Is there any pain? No pain. Okay. Okay, but that's just randomly when you get your... When, when you get ringing in your ears, you get a short, sharp pain. Okay, yeah. She's going to check that out too. Um, let me write that down. And which ear do you feel like rings most? Your left ear as well. Okay. Uh, well, usually with ringing in the ears, it has to do with blood flow in your ear. And the blockage could be causing some more blockages in your vessels and stuff. And... Um, it's, it's a very complicated, your ears are very complicated because they're connected to two different vital parts of your body. Um, but they're also just a complex, there's so many tubes just filled with fluid in there and there could be a lot of different reasons as to why they're not working. Yeah. Okay. The doctor will see you. Hi. 
away. And Dr. Whispers. So I hear you're in for a checkup. Is that correct? Perfect. Okay. So I see in your history that your mother has high blood pressure. Your dad has high cholesterol. But you have no high blood pressure or high cholesterol. Yeah, and that can be due to your age because you're you're so young. Um, it probably hasn't affected you yet, but it's okay. We'll we'll just keep an eye on that. You have no you had ha you have had no prior ear infections. Is that correct? Okay, and but you have had your sister that has had multiple. Okay, no problem. Okay, so you have. You also have no allergies, which is good. I know some people who say they don't have allergies, but sometimes it can, it can just be a heightened, a really high level of, say, mountain cedar or anything like that. Yeah, and that can kind of affect them, but not really. So we like to see that they have no allergies. So that's good. Okay. So you have had a sinus infection before. And it was a lot of pressure right here and on your forehead, right? Okay. And your lymph nodes swelled up. Swelled up? That's not correct. There's a reason why I didn't do English. Okay. Okay. And that caused uh, a mild form of bronchitis. Okay. And you've had strep throat as a child. Yeah, children are susceptible to a lot of diseases, so we're not really worried about that. Okay. So now that we have all of your history, I see that you're in here because um, you have a blockage in your left ear. Okay, so you think you have a blockage in your left ear. Yeah, no problem. We can get that checked out. Well, um, I see also that you're complaining of some tendonitis. Okay, yeah, no problem. Um, I have some hypothesis. I have a hypothesis of why you're having some tendonitis. Um, but I believe I'm going to have to ask some questions about the blockages. So, yeah, because I, I believe that the tentonitis is a, a result of the blockage, but I have to figure out why the blockage is there, okay? Okay, so. Um, yes, do you have any questions for me? Okay, uh, well, if you just sit tight for a second, I will get on with your examination, okay?